Got a recommendation from Wicked Foxy Dragon here. Uh, let's have a gander. Uh, this is from the YouTube channel Tabitha Speaks Politics. And uh, she, she helpfully clipped out the special counsel Jack Smith um, announcement today. You'll, you'll note that uh, he's been pretty tight-lipped, so the idea that he's suddenly talking, it means, it means it's, it's something we ought to listen to. Um, the person who gave the intro and the outro, I'm just going to let her go. We're just going to do that. Uh, because it's Tabitha Speaks Politics, and she is a very funny lady, and she's wearing Mickey Mouse ears. And so she's uh, won my heart over. Let's look at the piece she did on this. Mostly it's because, in case you missed it, as she says, I'd like you guys to hear uh, from uh, the other horse's mouth what's going on with the documents case. Let's get uh, the basics, uh, the facts laid out on the table. Short clip, here we go. If you blinked too fast, you missed the speech that Jack Smith gave. <laughs> he ain't sugarcoat nothing. He said what he had to say, and he was out. And the impression that he left me was that he ain't playing with Donald Trump. He ain't got time for the games. He said you got the right one. I got the speech. Let's watch it. Good afternoon. Today, an indictment was unsealed, charging Donald J. Trump with felony violations of our national security laws, as well as participating in a conspiracy to obstruct justice. This indictment was voted by a grand jury of citizens in the Southern District of Florida, and I invite everyone to read it in full, to understand the scope and the gravity of the crimes charged. The men and women of the United States intelligence community and our armed forces dedicate their lives to protecting our nation and its people. Our laws that protect national defense information are critical for the safety and security of the United States and they must be enforced. Violations of those laws put our country at risk. Adherence to the rule of law is a bedrock principle of the Department of Justice and our nation's commitment to the rule of law sets an example for the world. We have one set of laws in this country, and they apply to everyone. Applying those laws, collecting facts, that's what determines the outcome of an investigation. Nothing more and nothing less. Uh. The prosecutors in my office are among the most talented and experienced in the Department of Justice. They have investigated this case hewing to the highest ethical standards, and they will continue to do so as this case proceeds. It's very important for me to note that the defendants in this case must be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in a court of law. To that end, my office will seek a speedy trial in this matter, consistent with the public interest and the rights of the accused. We very much real quick, just real quick. I am glad that of the few things Jack Smith has said, one of them is that they're going to do this thing quick. He's a good egg. Let's look forward to presenting our case to a jury of citizens in the Southern District of Florida. And at that point, he picked up his portfolio and he walked out the room. Ladies, I don't know about y'all, but Jack Smith, he was giving me big D energy. Ha! <laughs> Failed. Oh, just delightful. Just delightful, I swear. Okay, so, um, what on earth have I done? Ah. The 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 long and the short of it. Um <clears throat> exactly what we thought. Straightforward. No mystery.
that that first of all compliments to uh the the uh to Tabitha speaks politics that press conference was a classic press conference by which i mean there was about 11 minutes of an empty podium and uh and reporters chit-chatting followed by 2 minutes of uh Jack Smith speaking and then he left oh wow Nice to return to the old days. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna discuss amongst the the wicked community in a moment. I'm just gonna toss down my thoughts here ever so quickly. Again, uh, uh, thank you to Tabitha Speaks Politics for clipping that. The charges are incredibly serious. They're. It's one of those things where if if you if when you hear them uh you don't get a little chill up your spine it's probably because the tone it's being said in is very calm uh but allow me to calmly as I can add we we had a serious national security threat in this I don't know if he sold the documents. Uh, I saw evidence today to suggest that he might, he might not have. He might have just been so irresponsible with them that he earned himself um, these charges. I, I, I don't think if he did sell them, I don't think the government knows it yet. Uh, but we have reason to believe that we're in a lot of trouble. Even even if it should be that Donald Trump did not knowingly turn over information to foreign governments, again, I normally don't care if it's a foreign government or uh, my, lo- my, my country's government that we're talking about, unless, unless it involves something that uh, one of these governments was relying upon being kept secret. You know, things like deals we have uh, been making, plans of attack that we have been planning, where our spies are. Because whether or not I agree with whether or not we should be attacking people, or whether or not I agree with what, what... All right, let's try this again. Whether or not we should be attacking people or spying on people, etc., etc. Lives, actual lives, I mean, we are, and so lives depend on us keeping these secrets. And these secrets, for a long time, in my opinion, because of Merrick Garland's timid hesitance, to uh, bother a wealthy or a powerful person. These documents were kept in a very unsecure location where people from other countries were invited to and, in fact, had cover for being at. We, it's, I mean, it's, it's unlikely that we're ever going to know the full extent of how badly this compromised security for folks. But I have to assume that um, the U.S. has had to change a lot of its plans based on no longer being able to rely on the secrecy of top-level information. And that is scary. Let's see what the Wicked community has to say. I want to get to it. 